In this video, we are going to learn how to draw shear force and pendulum moment diagram for a cantilever beam as shown in figure. So the statement is given as draw shear force and pendulum moment diagram for a cantilever beam AB 2 meter long carries a uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter over a length of 1.6 meter from the free end. So this is the cantilever beam of length 2 meter and carrying a uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter over a length of 1.6 meter. So for this setup, we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So first of all, I will draw the free body diagram for this beam section. Here, first we have to convert this UDL into point load. So to convert this, I will multiply this UDL value that is 1.5 kN per meter with the length over which the UDL act that is 1.6 meter. So by calculating this, I will get the point load of 2.4 kN. Now this calculated point load is acting on the beam on the midpoint of length over which the UDL act. Now this type of problem we are going to solve in three steps. In the first step, we have to calculate the value of support reaction force RA. So to calculate this value, I will use the condition of equilibrium that is summation of Fy equal to 0. That means addition of all forces in the vertical axis equal to 0. While doing the addition of all vertical forces, I will consider upward forces as positive and downward forces as negative. Here R is the vertical reaction force. So I will add this force with positive sign. And there is uniformly distributed load that we had converted into point load is acting on the beam in the downward direction. So I will add this 2.4 kN with minus sign. So from this, I will get the value of reaction force RA equal to 2.4 kN. Now, with the help of this calculated value of RA, I will further calculate the values of shear forces at all the points of the beam. So the next step is calculation of shear forces. And the sign convention for the shear force calculation is upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces are considered as negative. And here I will start the shear force calculation from the left hand side of the beam. So first to calculate shear force at point A to its left, that is SF at A to the left. So as we can see, there is no force acting at the left side of point A. Therefore, SF at A to the left equal to zero. So to draw shear force diagram, I will first draw a horizontal reference line of zero kilonewton shear force. So here I'll mark the point of 0 kN on the reference line that is shear force at point A to the left is 0. If I go to the section to the right of point A, then there is reaction force RA in the upward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider upward forces as positive. So here the shear force is plus 2.4 kN. Here, as the shear force value is positive, so I will draw vertical line of shear force 2.4 kN. Here one thing you should remember while calculating shear force at particular point load, you can calculate the shear force values for the left side and right side of that particular point load. But while calculating the shear force at uniformly distributed load, that is UDL, you should calculate shear force values at start point and end point of UDL that is shear force at point C and shear force at point B, we need to calculate. Shear force at point C, that is SF at point C. Now there is no load on the beam between the right side of point A and point C. Therefore, shear force remains constant, that is shear force at point C equal to 2.4 kN. Here as there is no variation in shear force value, so I will make the horizontal line with shear force value as 2.4 kN. 
Now the point P is the end point of UDL. So I am taking section to the point B and I will calculate shear force at point B that is SF at point B. And here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point C which is 2.4 kN and to the left side of point B there is uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter that we had converted into point load of 2.4 kN in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention I will consider this downward force as negative. So I will add this point load as minus 2.4 kN. So here plus 2.4 kN minus 2.4 kN gives me the value of shear force as 0 kN. So I will mark this point of 0 kN shear force at point B. And if you can see on cantilever beam between point B and C there is UDL. And to draw shear force diagram I will indicate UDL with an inclined line. So I will connect these two points with an inclined line. And here in shear force diagram whatever the portion above the reference line I will show this with plus sign. So here I have completed the shear force diagram. Now the next step is calculation of bending moment. So bending moment at a section of beam is calculated as the algebraic sum of the moment of all forces acting on one side of the section. So to calculate bending moments I will start either from left end or from right end of beam. Here I will start from right side. So whenever you are calculating the bending moments at a section of a beam you should remember these conditions. So here for cantilever beam the condition is at the free end of beam the value of bending moment will be 0. That is BM suffix B equal to 0 kN meter. So to draw bending moment firstly I will draw the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter. So here BM suffix B equal to 0 kN meter. So now we have to calculate bending moment at point C. Here you should remember in case of cantilever beam while you are doing the calculations for bending moment at a particular point you should always add moment of all the forces present from free end of cantilever beam up to that particular point at which you are calculating the bending moment. And for calculation of bending moment our sign convention is for sagging effect of beam the force is considered as positive and for hugging effect of beam the force is considered as negative. So here UDL of 1.5 kN per meter acting on the beam in the downward direction and previously I have converted this UDL value into point load of 2.4 kN which is acting on the beam in the downward direction. Hence the beam shows hugging effect and for hugging effect of beam our sign convention is negative. So for bending moment this will be the amount of force acting on the beam into distance from point of action of force that is 0.8 meter. So this will get the value of bending moment at point C equal to minus 1.92 kN meter. So as it is negative value of bending moment hence I will mark the point of bending moment below the reference line of 0 kN meter bending moment. And to draw bending moment I will indicate this UDL with a parabolic curve. Hence I will join these two points with a parabolic curve. Now the next we have to calculate the bending moment at point A that is BM suffix A equal to algebraic sum of moment of all the forces at the right hand side of point A. So here at the right hand side of point A there is UDL force of 1.5 kN per meter that we had converted into point load in the downward direction. Hence the beam shows hugging effect and for hugging effect our sign convention will be negative. Hence the amount of force is minus 2.4 kN into distance from point of action of force that is 1.2 meter. So this will get the value of bending moment at point A equal to minus 2.88 kN meter. 
सो एज इट इज निगेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ पेंडिंग मूवमेंट हे आई विल मार्क दिस पॉइंट बिलो द रेफरेंस लाइन ऑफ पेंडिंग मूवमेंट जीरो किलोमीटर मीटर एंड एज देर इज नो फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम बिटवीन पॉइंट सी एंड पॉइंट ए देर फोर टू ड्रॉ पेंडिंग मूवमेंट एग्राम आई विल जॉइन दीज टू पॉइंट्स विद द स्ट्रेट लाइन नाउ सिंस आई कैन सी दिस पेंडिंग मूवमेंट एग्राम इज ड्रॉन बिलो द रेफरेंस लाइन ऑफ जीरो किलोमीटर मीटर बेंडिंग मूवमेंट हिस्स आई विल शो दिस पोर्शन बाय माइनस साइन सो हियर यू हैव कंप्लीटेड द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर दिस कैंटिलर बीम